What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Son of Attack once again, and today we're going to be talking about how to mine Alephium. The ticker is ALF, A L P H, and it is basically alive and well and runs on the Blake 3 algorithm. A couple weeks ago, or even maybe a month at this point, we did an interview with the primary dev and talked about everything that makes Alephium special. So if that's what you want to check out, go do that. This video is just going to be the how to mine it. And I have no opinions either way on if you should or shouldn't mine it. It's just so that you have this ready and available because I have now completed moving a lot of my rigs over to Alephium for all of the testing. Let's go ahead and hop into it after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. I recently launched a crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com and it includes nine steps to cover when you decide to start your crypto mining journey. This is specifically pertaining to 2023 crypto mining profits and taking advantage of the down market to achieve skyrocketing growth as we move into the next halving of Bitcoin. You'll learn buying mining equipment in a bear market, using outside investment to speculative mine, begin mining once profit is established, sell mine crypto to pay for electricity, hold and prep for the bull run, sell at the top of the bull market, sell mining equipment at the top of the bull market, and begin investing in land and power so that you can bring in outside investors to utilize excess resources. Thanks everybody for your support, and I hope you enjoy the course. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. All right, welcome back. So first things first, it's important to just make sure that when you are going through the process of mining a new coin that you go to the correct web addresses and don't get scammed. This can be actually quite a bit more difficult than you may expect at first because in Google searches, people can create ads for whatever they want. And it has been known, especially most recently on Caspa, that there were some malicious wallets that were basically on the top of the Google results as part of ads that people were clicking and creating and then losing their Caspa to. So for Alephium, it's going to be alephium.org org for the main website and the first thing that we're going to do of course is install the desktop wallet but before we do that we need to make some modifications to windows so let's go ahead and minimize this and just like on nexa and every other coin we're going to right click and say new and folder we're going to name this one alf and just have it on the desktop here. You can put it wherever you like. Next, we want to leave the Windows firewall in place. So at this point, we are just going to basically add an exception for Alephium into the virus and threat protection. You can search for virus and be able to pull that right up. And then under here, you are going to click the manage settings button and then you will scroll down and say add or remove exclusions and then click yes and click add exclusion and select folder. At this point you're going to select the ALF folder and it will be under exceptions. It's important to note once again that this isn't the safest way to go ahead and mine on Windows 10, that is. If you have any information that stores passwords or you know has any financial information on it or anything like that, basically just be aware that having an exclusion and leaving your antivirus in place doesn't mean that you're still protected because you are allowing basically an unbridled folder. It's not being scanned for ant for viruses. And so I still recommend that if you are going to mine on Windows that you mine on a machine that doesn't have any personal information or financial information on it. Okay, with the disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and continue on. Next thing that we're going to do is download the wallet and you can get the wallet on their GitHub, and I will have a link down to it down below. We're gonna get the executable, and it will download up here. Once it's downloaded, we are just going to have to click the three ellipses because it reads it as a virus, and click keep. Then we'll have to click show more and say keep anyways. At this point, it will be downloaded, and we'll need to move it. So we're going to open the download, right click and say cut, and then we are going to go to our desktop and go into the ALF folder and paste it here. Now we're gonna go ahead and run the application and the wallet will launch. From here, we're gonna go ahead and create a new wallet. We'll name it test or tutorial. You can name it whatever you like. We'll enter a password and re-enter the password. And then we will click continue. 
At this point, you will be presented with your secret recovery phrase. It's important that you write all of these down. Now, another option that you can utilize that we've talked about in the past is saving it to an encrypted USB drive. If you would like to save it to an encrypted USB drive, please check out the beginning of the how to mine Nexa video so that you are aware of how to do that. But at this point, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and do a quick snipping tool here. Or can we just copy it? I think we can copy it. Yeah, we can. So we're just going to do a control C and open a notepad and place it in here. So now we have all of our words ready to go and we can save this file and put it on an encrypted drive once again, if that's how we would prefer to do it. And then we are going to click, I have copied the words and continue. At this point, it's going to check and make sure we have all the words right. So we're going to do it in the right order. You can see here that we have wheel, I, upgrade, and so on and so forth until you've typed them all in. And then we'll click the continue button. So at this point, everything is ready and we click the let's go button. And we are going to then just click the show addresses button and copy that to clipboard. A lot of times I like to add the public address to my seed phrase file as well, just so that I have that address tied to whatever seed phrase I'm trying to recover. And then from this point, we are going to move on to installing the miner. The miner that we're gonna to utilize today works with both AMD and Nvidia. And upon the latest testing that I've done between LOL miner, SRB miner, and BZ miner, SRB miner appears to be the best for the Blake 3 algorithm with, that is utilized by Alephium at this time. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find the file for Windows 64 and click that button. It will download and then we'll click the little show in folder button. We will right click and say cut. We will then once again go back to our desktop and our Alephium folder and we will paste it in here. From here, we're going to right click and say extract all and then extract and we will open our SRB miner and we have pre-made batch files to run the miner. And there is a pre-made one for Alephium. We do have to modify, of course, the batch file with our particular information, including our wallet and the pool that we wish or desire to mine to. So we'll right click and say show more options and then we will go ahead and click the edit button. Windows will protect your PC, so you will have to say more info and run anyways. At this point, it will open a notepad, and we are basically going to be replacing the Alephium wallet with the wallet address that we just recently generated. So that's in our first tab here, and this is our public address. We'll do a copy, and we will just highlight the Alephium wallet and do a paste. You can do Control S or say File Save to basically save the file. And then we need to check the pool. This pool is at Hero Miners, which is the pool that we're gonna to utilize today. However, it's not on the best geographical location for us. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the pool itself and find the best geographical location for us. We're going to highlight it, right click and say copy. Then we're gonna go back to the notepad and we are going to highlight the pool and we're just going to paste it in place of that. So now we're on US2. At this point, we're going to do the Control S to save it, or you can click File and Save. From here, we are going to head on over to the folder that has the batch file included in it, and we are gonna double click it to run the miner. At this point, it will detect your devices. In this current system, we have an RTX 3060 and an RX 5700 XT for demonstration purposes. You'll see that it has detected both of the GPUs. Here are some commands you can use in the console to display the stats. Press H to display the hash rate, P to display the next pool, zero to switch to the previous pool, and you can disable individual GPUs with zero through nine. The zero is indicated obviously after the GPU indicator in front of the graphics card itself. Now, once it has begun mining and you've been mining a little bit, you can begin to check your stats on the pool itself. To do that, we're gonna get our wallet address and do Control C. 
Then we're going to go to the Hero Miners pool at elysium.herominers.com. We're going to scroll down to your stats and payment history and do a control V and say look up. At this point, it won't be quite ready, right? It is seeing some hash rate, but it's not fully spun up at this time. But you'll have a listing of everything that you need to know. Your unconfirmed balance, your pending balance, your total balance in the last 24 hours paid. And then it will give you a projection based on your hash rate for your estimated earnings. If you would like to mine solo for Alephium, then you need to go back to the batch file and in front of your wallet, type in solo and the colon and then save that and that's how you would do solo you'll obviously need to stop the miner and restart it alrighty so that's how to mine alephium on windows 11. let's talk about mining alephium on hive os okay so within hive os we're going to create a new flight sheet and that is as simple as moving over to the flight sheets tab and then we'll have our add new flight sheet option we're going to click the down arrow on the coin button and you can type in the alephium or al and it'll auto complete and you can see that we have alf here for our wallet, we'll click the add wallet and then once again, post or paste the address that you created from the wallet in Windows into the address space here and you can name it accordingly. I already have one created, so we're just going to go ahead and grab that. And then from here, we'll select our pool. In this particular case, we're gonna go ahead and select hero miners and then one that is good for our local geographical location and click apply. From here, we will select the miner, which will be the SRB miner multi. And in the dual coin, we can just say for this time being that we aren't gonna use dual. And that is because we want to save the power there. So at this point, you just click the create flight sheet and it is ready to go. Everything's built in and obviously Hive OS is super awesome for making this as simple as possible. Once you've created it, you can go back and highlight one of your rigs select the flight sheet and then select alf as what you're looking for and then select your new flight path and it will begin mining a little bit about overclocks in this particular situation is that the rtx 3000 series does run great with essentially taking the memory clock down all the way to 810 you can do this by going into your flight sheet and adding this parameter the dash dash GPU clock dash, or sorry, the dash dash GPU dash M clock 810. And this will essentially lock that down to 810 megahertz, which will reduce the power consumption and make your efficiency better. The same thing can be done on AMD, but you will need to do it through the actual Hive OS overclocker here. And that is because right now, uh, it seems to be the easiest way to do it. Plus the Hive overclocker does have the best options in my humble opinion for AMD. So it makes it a little easier. So you can just come into here and type in all of the info. I believe I do have some options already one tuned in here. Yeah, but I do need to reduce the memory on these particular units. We haven't gotten to that. And once again, like always, we'll cover overclocking for a particular algorithm later on. I'm trying to catch up on how to mine videos right now. So I hope this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, please hit the like, comment, subscribe down below, and I will see you next Tuesday. Don't forget to check out sonofatech.locals.com for daily updates on what I am mining and why I'm mining it. So you can basically follow along if you like. And also, don't forget to check out my crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com.